Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to be talking about the different types of meat cuts. We went over the basics of meat in general, and we know that the depending on the animals uh, will depend on the different types of cuts that we get. And so we're going to look a little further into detail over beef, veal, lamb, and pork, um, and just kind of learn the basic names of the cuts. So um, we went over the primal fabricated and the whole carcass so you can buy pork um, as a whole carcass sometimes it will include the head and sometimes it will include the feet as well um, you can purchase them without and so the four primal cuts so you can do the whole carcass and then if you decide not to do the whole carcass and want to do larger cuts you could do the primal cuts which is going to be the leg loin belly and shoulder and then from there you could do those fabricated cuts which would be the sizes of the actual weight that you would want to eat at that time. It would be for those single servings. Most pork is processed by curing, smoking, or irritation. So curing forms um, include pickling, injection, and sugar. Uh, and so it'll, especially with the sugar, it'll make it a lot sweeter. Um, we've, If you've ever heard of pickled pig's feet, it uh, doesn't sound too appetizing, but it's actually pretty popular. That's another way uh, where the vinegar helps break down some of that tissue. Looking at lamb, there are five primal cuts with lamb. You've got the shoulder, the rack, the breast, the loin, and then the leg as well. So you will see that a lot of these, the primal cuts, not really dependent on the animal, will have your typical legs and your shoulders, uh, and then some type of loin in there as well. And then once we start getting into a little bit more detail about each one, you'll see the different names throughout. So quality lamb should be pink to red, also firm, and then with some marbling and lean areas. Remember, marbling is where the fat is kind of spread throughout the muscle instead of being around the muscle. So to store fresh lamb, you're gonna store it for about two to five days in the refrigerator at at least 41 degrees Fahrenheit or colder. And if you'd wanna freeze it, um, you're gonna store it for about six to nine months in the freezer at zero degrees um, Fahrenheit. And then again, that's good for six to nine months. That's for your max amount of nutritional value and reducing your chances of getting freezer burn on there. So if you guys have never had lamb before, it's pretty tender meat. Um, the, let's see, where is it at on here? Oh, right there. The the um, racks right there are actually pretty good. They do serve it with the bone still in there. So what they would actually do is actually slice that down and then you would have the actual bone and then all the meat on there. And you would get multiple ones in a serving. Okay, so cuts of veal. Veal is young cow. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. Um, there are five primal cuts when it comes to veal. You've got the shoulder, the foreshank, um, or the breast. And then you've got the rack, loin, and leg. The rack is also going to be known as the rib as well, so you might know it better that way. Um, and then the foreshank and breast sometimes will be connected all together. Um, and then sometimes they'll split it, but for the most part, they'll keep it together. And then the um, five primal cuts of beef, you've got chuck, you've got the brisket, plate, or flank. Um, sometimes they'll come, it's basically this whole section right down here. They'll count that as one. Then you've got the rib, the loins, and then the rounds. This particular picture just goes into more detail. So it actually separates the short loin for the, from the sirloin, and then it breaks up the flank, the short plate, and then the foreshank and brisket. So we're going to try something new and I'm going to try to attach your assignment onto this Google slide so it's one less document for you guys to have to take a look at and open and switch back and forth. I thought this would be a little bit more convenient for you. So we're going to give it a go. Um, but your assignments on the next couple of slides, you're going to choose any two of the following four slides to complete. So it's your choice, does not matter just as long as they are complete. You're going to use the internet to give a really quick description, one to two sentences max. It should not just be a couple words, though. It should be at least a sentence or two of each of the following cuts. So use your own words to describe them. Please do not copy and paste from the internet. So you can choose between pork, lamb, veal, or beef. I've given you the primal cuts, and then I want you to to give me a description. It could be something like, this is the most tender meat, this is the most expensive meat, 
Uh, this is found in this location. It could be any of that, but just pick two of those slides. You'll be able to type directly on here, but because I'm in presentation mode, you guys won't be able to see that. So I'll switch over. So there's your assignment. And then you guys can immediately just start typing right on in there. If you guys have any questions, you know to email me. We'll see you later. <music>